So here we have a Duroscope that's been used for some time. As you can see, it's got some buildup on it. Uh, it also has a uh, tear on the hanger hole right here. And we're going to show you how to get this cleaned up and replace that grip. Okay, so I've um, soaked the Duroscope in a bucket of warm water for a little bit. And then I just took a stiff bristle brush and scraped off all that uh, buildup that was on there. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put a new grip on. So the first thing I want to do is just take a standard box cutter knife like this, razor knife, exacto knife would do. And we're just going to go ahead and take a cut here uh, into this rubber carefully and uh, just kind of slice it down here. And we're just going to go ahead and remove this grip. It just comes right off like this. And what you see here is the solid metal Duroscope handle. So now we're going to go ahead and put a new one on. So we've got our new uh, grips here. These grips come in three different colors. Uh, when you buy them uh, online, uh, we pick the color out for you. But um, replacement grips are easily put back on the scoop. Just take the grip, place it on the end of the handle like this, just slide it on there, and then just kind of gradually push. You can twist a little bit. Just push that handle all the way on. And that's really all there is to it, to put a new, uh, new handle on your Duroscope. Now these um, grips can move around just a little bit um, they should be fine without any adhesive. If you prefer, you can take a little bit of adhesive, oh, a little Elmer's glue, something like that, and just kind of squirt it inside uh, before you put the grip on. And when that adhesive dries, it'll just keep the handle from slipping around. But that's all there is to it. Brand new handle, brand new hanger hole, nice and strong, no problems. Enjoy your Duroscope. Would you try and sing my song? Let me be the one who's strong. Was there something that went?